Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be taking you through each step of my morning skincare routine. And I plan to film my evening skincare routine very soon as well. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now before we dive right in, I wanna briefly talk a little bit about my skin type so that you have some context for this video. I have normal to combination skin. I'm not overly sensitive, I'm not overly acne prone. I still have the occasional hormonal blemish on my chin, but it's no longer one of my major skincare concerns. I have a little bit of dryness around my eyes, sort of the first signs of aging, those fine lines that never seem to disappear. And although I do live in a very hot and humid climate, I never get overly oily. It's really just in my T-zone at the end of the day. Since I work in cosmetics, I usually wear a full face of makeup at least five days a week. So hydration and prep are really key every single morning. And then makeup removal is crucial in the evenings. I never, ever, 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 ever under any circumstances go to bed with makeup on. It does not matter how lazy I feel, how tired I am. I will always do at least some, if not all of my entire evening skincare routine, and that really is a huge part of feeling fresh-faced in the morning. The first step of my morning skincare routine is to wash my face, which I typically do in the shower, and I have been rotating between several different cleansers. My main cleanser is this fresh soy face cleanser. This is almost gone. I have a little tiny bit left. I can feel it's like sitting down here at the bottom, and I will be incredibly sad when this finally runs out. I do have a couple backups, so I have the La Mousse Cleanser from Chanel and a few others, so I don't think I'm going to replenish this right away, but I do really love it because it is so balancing and it just leaves my skin feeling incredibly refreshed. It just does a beautiful job cleansing away any dirt or impurities that might have settled on my face overnight so that I'm ready for the next step. So I really have been loving this Soy Fresh Cleanser. If you're somebody who is incredibly sensitive or you like something that's very gentle you cannot go wrong with that cleanser. I do occasionally like to exfoliate my skin, in which case I will swap that out for the fresh sugar strawberry exfoliating face wash. This is again very gentle. You could use this every single day, but I kind of just go off of my intuition and however my skin is feeling, that's how I decide which cleanser. But this is nice because it does have a nice grit so that you feel like you're really sloughing off that dead layer, but it's not too harsh. So I can still use any of my treatment products in the morning, treatment products in the evening, and I don't have any sort of irritation. It has a beautiful fragrance. It's a very nice, fresh strawberry, not an artificial strawberry smell to it, but it is very invigorating in the morning. So I always feel nice and squeaky clean whenever I use the exfoliating sugar face wash. The second step to my morning skincare routine is toner, and I really love the Latonique from Chanel. It's for all skin types, it's alcohol free, it also contains blue algae and marine extracts, so there's some yummy stuff in there for your skin. A toner helps to prep your skin for anything else that you put on top. You wanna make sure that if when you're using serums and lotions and these topical products that are designed to penetrate the skin and go deep down within the skin layers, that you don't have any remaining dirt and debris on your face. So cleanser is great, but a toner helps to make sure that you are perfectly clean. It also will gently exfoliate because I use a cotton pad. So rubbing this on your face is going to help wipe away those dead skin cells, any lasting remnants of anything that should not be on your skin. So that when you go on top with a serum and moisturizer and which is meant to be absorbed deep down, you have a perfectly clear complexion. After toner, but before moisturizer, I like to use a serum, and I usually use a different serum during the day than I do in the evening. I have two here to talk about. The first one I wanna mention is from Caudalie. It's their Vino Pure Blemish Control Infusion Serum. This is a salicylic serum, which is great to use morning or evening, but especially if you wear a lot of makeup and you tend to break out or you're acne prone, this is great during the day beneath your makeup because it will help to gently exfoliate your skin and prevent those clogged pores. So this is a product that I used the entire bottle. There's a teeny tiny little bit left at the bottom and this was great while I was using it, but it's no longer a product that I really need. So I haven't been using it for the past 
probably several weeks now. Ever since I integrated a retinol into my evening skincare routine, I haven't really needed a salicylic serum in the morning. It has completely transformed my skin. It's helped to diminish fine lines, dark spots. It really reduced the number of breakouts that I see on my chin. So as much as I have loved this product, it's not something that I will need to replenish because my skin has really changed. Instead, I have felt like there are times that I feel more dry or I really need hydration beneath my makeup now. So that's why I've recently switched over to the Capture Youth Plum Filler Serum. This is from Dior. And there are several different serums from Dior like this and it really is just like an extra shot in your green juice. It's that extra booster to help give your skin a little something more before you go on top with a moisturizer. And the Plum Filler Serum has hyaluronic acid. So it's really just going to help hydrate your skin. It's not going to help retain moisture and water, which is perfect underneath your moisturizer. I love this serum because it goes on so silky smooth. I typically use an entire dropper full and I will massage that into my face, neck, chest, and decollete. And one dropper covers the entire area. What I love so much about this serum is that if I were to take a little bit and just massage it on the back of my hand, you would see that in a couple minutes it would be completely absorbed. It doesn't leave any sort of film or oiliness or moisture on top of the skin. It just goes directly into the skin, disappears, and then you can layer your moisturizer on top. So now is when I moisturize and I've been using the CEO Vitamin C Rich Hydration Cream. This is from Sunday Riley. And I originally had started using this in the evenings and I really liked it, but I have come to find that I love it just as much during the day. So all you need is a very small amount. And I think that's truly key with moisturizer, but also just skincare in general. Your face and your skin can only absorb so much product. So if you layer too much, it's just going to be wasted. It's not going to absorb into the skin. Sometimes it can form little milia like around the eye area or form little deposits and actually clog your pores. So you wanna be careful that you don't use too much moisturizer, especially if you have a very rigorous skincare routine. About the size of a pencil eraser is truly all you need. If I accidentally grab any more, I'll go ahead and distribute that on my neck and my chest because of course you wanna treat this area just like you treat your face. But I love this moisturizer because it has vitamin C, so it's going to help diminish dark spots. It is incredibly lightweight. It doesn't feel super heavy on the skin whatsoever. Vitamin C can sometimes make you feel photosensitive, but I also use a retinol in the evening, so I always make sure to use SPF and sun protection during the daytime. I think the percentage is probably so low in this moisturizer because I never feel any sort of sensitivity when I use this during the day. So I can use this every single morning and go out and go about my business, live my normal life, and it doesn't make me feel any different in the sun. Oh, so nice. I love the smell. Once my face is moisturized, the last step is to take care of eyes. And there are two products that I use every single morning for eyes. I never skip a day. The first is this eye cream from Neocutis. This is their Lumiere Illuminating Eye Cream. And I picked this up at the dermatologist's office, but I have noticed that it's available online, so you don't need to visit a dermatologist to be able to pick it up. This is just what she recommended to me. And she also mentioned that herself and every single person who works in her office love and use this eye cream. So I had really high expectations. I've been using this morning and night for the past couple months and I really like it. I thought it would be really thick and really rich, but it's not. It's actually quite lightweight, which I've come to prefer. So it has the perfect little pump that allows you to distribute the smallest amount of product because when it comes to eyes, all you need is about the size of a grain of rice, and that's for both eyes. So I apply this on both sides, I'll massage it all around the entire orbital bone, and it really does a beautiful job hydrating the area, but it's not going to clog pores or cause milia or be too thick, heavy, and rich. So this is the perfect eye cream. I've really, really loved it.
I don't remember the exact price off the top of my head, but I want to say this is incredibly reasonable, especially when you compare it to a lot of the prestige eye creams that are available at the department store. So it's hydrating, it has peptides, and I never skip a morning. I follow up my eye cream with the Sisley Eye Contour Mask. And if you saw my last favorites video, you know I ranted and raved about this product. It might honestly be the number one skincare purchase of my entire life. It's just been a true game changer. This is a difference maker. So I use a very teeny tiny bit of this eye contour mask right on top of my eye cream. I just massage it again around the entire orbital bone and it makes such a huge difference with my concealer and my foundation. I don't get any creasing. It really just locks in that moisture from the eye cream so that you stay hydrated and supple throughout the entire day, which previous to using this eye mask had never happened to me before. I happen to have a lot of fine lines in the crow's feet area and I've always struggled with dryness and crepey under eyes until this eye mask. And I've always used an eye cream. It's not like I just wasn't using an eye cream. I have tried to target this area for years and nothing has really made a difference until this mask. It's the combination. You can't use this alone. This isn't going to take the place of your moisturizer. So you still need to use an eye cream, but this on top of the eye cream is what just locks down that moisture so that you stay hydrated all day long. And truly you can put this on the moment you wake up in the morning and leave it on. And when you come home at the end of a very long day, if you feel your eyes, they won't feel dry. No morning skincare routine would be complete without sun protection. SPF is truly going to be your best friend, especially when it comes to preventing aging and preventing those fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, all of those things that we work so hard to prevent. So two products that I really love. The first is the Unseen Sunscreen from Supergoop. This has SPF 40 and it goes on almost like a clear primer. So this is a product that I will use beneath makeup. So this would be my last step of skincare, first step of makeup. It has almost like a slip silicone feel. So if you're familiar with say the blur primer from YSL or the photo finish primer from Smashbox, it might be called something different, but this has that same feel to it. So it's the same texture, except it has SPF 40. So that is huge. I, of course, already have my makeup done. So another product that I like to use is from Kate Somerville, and this is the Uncomplicated SPF. This is SPF 50, and it's a soft focus makeup setting spray. This also contains jasmine or lavender, I believe. Yes, so this also contains hyaluronic acid and lavender essential oil on top of SPF 50. All you have to do, give it a shake. It actually sounds like a, a spray paint can. It's like you're spray painting your face. And then, let's see. Really light, it smells really nice because of the lavender oil. It actually has a beautiful fragrance and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin whatsoever. A spray is sometimes really convenient because you could take this with you, throw it in your bag if you don't have time. If you forget and you already apply your makeup and you think to yourself, oh, I'm gonna be out all day and I forgot my sun protection, you can spray this all over your face, spray it all over your neck, chest, decollete, and it gets all of those areas that we sometimes forget. The scalp even, our hairline, ears can sometimes get burnt really badly by the sun. So it's just a great product for convenience, but this is something that is really easy to just integrate into your makeup routine. And now my skincare is complete, my makeup is done, and I am ready to take on the day. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. As always, I will be linking all of the skincare products mentioned, as well as everything that I use today on my face, down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.